Welcome to Fun Phoenix, Arizona. Ready to hit the town without breaking the bank? Well, you are in the right place. Fun free things to do in Phoenix, Arizona. Hold on tight and let's go. Some quick crazy facts for you. Phoenix is the sixth largest city in the US. Doesn't feel that way, not a very large downtown. And there are 16 million people who visit Phoenix each year, which is crazy. They have a huge tourism industry. And yet if you search online, it is very challenging to find for fun free things to do. I went from website to website trying to gather a great list for me and my family. And yet I kept coming across these websites that claimed to have free things. And then half of them cost like $12 per adult and I was like no fun free things uh, so everything you're gonna find on this video is a hundred percent free so I'm excited to share them all with you so you can also enjoy this amazing city like we did Number one, hit some of the city's desert trails that cross every corner of the metro area. They are always free to bike, hike, or ride, especially South Mountain Park. It's a maze of well-maintained hiking trails, crisscrosses out of the largest municipal parks in the world. For a spectacular view, drive to Dobbins Lookout Point and gaze at the city from 1,200 feet. Then trek to Happy Valley via a trail through South Mountain Park. The place is magnificent, especially in springtime when the terrain is knee deep with wildflowers. Free maps are available at the entrance. So this part was my favorite part of the trip was Roosevelt Row in downtown Phoenix walkable arts district. It's home of art galleries and studio spaces, restaurants, bars, boutiques, shops, and landscape dotted with colorful street art. Pretty much every corner has a piece of phenomenal art on a wall and it's so fun. We loved it. Great place to get some wicked fun pictures and play I Spy with kids or with adults. Who knows? A plenty of inspiration just surrounding you. Also, there's the Arizona Capitol Museum. The museum exhibits events and programs focus on the evolution of Arizona from territory to state. The Arizona Takes Shape exhibit provides school-age visitors curriculum-related information for Arizona state history and government studies. The museum has over 20 exhibits featuring contemporary, historical, and artifacts from the Arizona state-owned collections. There's permanent exhibits, which include the sinking of the USS Arizona, the formal silver service from the USS Arizona, and a timeline of events pivotal to making Arizona a state, uh, the governor and secretary of state's original office, and the historical senate, and house. It's kind of interesting and cool. There's also this Civic Space Park. So this is worth seeing really only at night. We went during the day because we saw these awesome pictures and we went and we're like, oh, it's a patch of grass. But if you go during night, there's this awesome piece of art which hangs up in the sky and it lights up. So it's really cool. So if you're gonna go to this, it's only worth your time during the nighttime. It's still a pretty place to relax during the day. Just nothing worth you know writing home about unless it's at night. Arizona is famous for its parks and splash pads. We went to Civic Park, which had a little mini train on it. Mini train was not free, but we didn't ride it. And there are wonderful playgrounds. There's some beautiful ponds, cacti, and wildlife. But there are parks all over the city to enjoy, relax, and play. I know we had a great time, and we had never seen such huge cactus. It was, it was so cool. Well, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. You joined our adventure. Now go out there and make your own and tell me all about it.